But then there is also Milton Anderson, Uncle Milton. He is the 90-year-old brother of Kitty Menendez, and Uncle Milton does not believe that Eric and Lyle were molested by his sister's husband, Jose. Uncle Milton thinks the boys killed their parents out of greed, and he is fighting this DA's push for resentencing on the DA's own turf, the courtroom. Earlier, I spoke with Kathy Cady, the attorney for Uncle Milton. Ms. Cady, thanks for uh, joining me. I I'm so curious about your client, Milton Anderson. I know that he had a brother um, who died in 2017 who shared his opinion um, that the Menendez brothers were, were not innocent. Um, is, is Milton Anderson the only Menendez family member now who opposes this resentencing? Well, he's the only one, um, certainly, who's willing to speak up. I, I, and he's the only person for whom I am speaking. I can't speak about other family members. But I don't know that any of the family members actually have an opinion that the brothers are innocent. Um, it's my understanding that the other family members just think that um, they should be released or have an opportunity for a release. And certainly, Mr. Anderson um, does not believe that they were innocent. Uh, he knows that they murdered uh, his sister, Kitty, and uh, her husband. And, and I think you're right. The, the word isn't, isn't innocent. It's more not guilty of perhaps first-degree murder um, with a sentence of life, no parole. That seems to be where the discrepancy is. But I'm still trying to get my head around how Jose's own sister, Marta, and Kitty's uh, sister, Joan, that's Milton's sister as well, and about 29 or so other family members all feel differently than Milton. Does he know something that they don't know? Where is the disconnect? And do they at all speak? So um, what I can say, um, so I was a prosecutor for 30 years and certainly um, have experience in what happens in families or what can happen in families when you have a murder that occurs in the family. Unfortunately, it is not uncommon there for there to be somewhat of a rift. Um, and that appears to be what happened in this case. Um, I, I'm not here to talk uh, about how the other people feel, and they certainly are justified in however they feel uh, regarding this case. But what I know is that Milton Anderson stands firm in his belief that he doesn't think that um, I, Eric or Lyle were molested. He believes that the motive for the murder was absolutely greed and that the motive, or excuse me, the murder was only committed after the brothers learned that they were going to be taken out of the will and that they killed their parents because they wanted to still be able to inherit millions of dollars. So Uncle Milton, as the boys would have called him, um, he visited Eric and Lyle in jail after their arrest. When did things change and, and why did things change? Well, I, I, I'm not able to go back to 30 some years ago to say exactly um, when that occurred. What I can say is that Mr. Anderson, um, it's his firm belief that the allegations of molestation were essentially concocted by the defense attorney, Leslie Abramson, and um, he believes that that molestation did not occur. And uh, furthermore, there were two witnesses that the brothers asked to come into court and lie at the trial. And one of them was a, a woman, a friend of the boys, uh, who they asked to come in and say that she had been raped by uh, their dad. And that was a lie. And she didn't come in and testify about that. What she testified about is that um, they asked her to lie for them. And there was another witness who was also asked to lie about a different um, aspect of the case. So uh, even when this all was occurring during the jury trial, um, Eric and Lyle were asking at least two people that we know of to lie for them at the trial. And that does make the other testimony that they introduced regarding molestation um, a little bit suspect. And certainly that um, is, I think, why Mr. Anderson doesn't believe that it's true. During the second trial, where there was still quite a bit of evidence that came in about this uh, claimed molestation, apparently the jury um, didn't believe it and it didn't rise to the level of any kind of a defense that could be used um, in the trial. So at this point in time for resentencing, um, the law regarding Regarding resentencing is that if a child if a person was um, abused when they were a child that that can be a consideration for um, 
the district attorney to use in terms of uh, a resentencing. So the issue is, is that uh, legitimate evidence? And what I can say is, even as Mr. Gascon has said, there is apparently uh, quite a bit of differing opinion in the district attorney's office. And what is most upsetting is that what he announced yesterday is that he had only made his decision an hour before the press conference that he called 11 a day, 11 days before uh, his reelection. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.